Manchester United TV, joined by manager Michael Clegg after the three-hole draw in the North East against South Shields. Michael, you've got to be happy with the point there with at three one down. Yeah, hundred percent. I think obviously we we were all felt really let down by their second goal. Um and, and, and it's just getting frustrating now, you know, lads offside, then push Regan in back and then they go two one up when we you know, we were doing all right. So that was a kick in the teeth and then obviously the third goal's a a wonder strike really and then we, we just dug in and dug in and you know we knew we could punish them from set pieces if we got a chance and, and we did that. Having your eyes to say up top four shields obviously spent a month on loan with us earlier in the year did that help knowing exactly what he's going to do? No because he's just a problem so Darius is a great player we were extremely lucky getting him in for a month we've obviously helped him in that because he's come back and he looks like a man possessed and I thought it was awesome but his goal with Porter we, you know we've given him so much space put the header in the back and but listen we've, we've basically played all that game with 10 men Greg's really really injured he's I was going to mention Greg yeah. then because he went, he went down injured off yeah. the tackle probably shouldn't have been in play as Ben Hoff was down on the pitch yeah. but then it's from his own man but then no, yeah, he's that's... really really injured and, and you could see it from Greg with his mm. movement around the area it wasn't what we used to yeah exactly so that that was that was tough for us but we just dug in and, and like you say I was I was I was really upset with with the ref last week at Lancaster and I've been really upset with him again today um, he, he it, it's just getting so frustration, frustrating to watch decisions like that given against and look we, we've ended up taking a point and, and that's with all respect in world to South Shields because there were levels today and I thought some of the football they played was unbelievable for the level of football they're at and um, they struggled to see out the game and, 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 and which is obviously some of that for them not, not us and we're happy with the point but I think on a whole you know, the, for me, the club, the, the the players, and you get treated with loads of respect when you come here. But I would be happy seat back of them. I won't lie. How, how proud are you though, as a as the gaffers? Obviously, full time training every day. The facilities around the first gallery, you can see them behind you. They're fantastic. We've more than well and truly to hold our own here when we're training on a Tuesday and a Thursday when the lads are fit or when the lads are ill at a school they've got their own training ground there how good does that make you as a gaffer yeah of course it makes you extremely proud and i think what you get from this bunch is you, you'll always get 100 percent um and but but then when you look at our game today i thought keelan adams absolutely awesome up there i thought i thought they're just some big performances Reeves and birdie are happy defending i thought darius give birdie a really tough first 45 minutes but i thought that last last half hour birdie was an absolute beast i thought cole lonsdale was outstanding at left back today and um don't like me all the time cole because he he should be playing like that every single week and and he can do that and that's what we try to get out of him but yeah for me always always proud and um, we've got a really good record against these but like you said now it's it switches to liver's edge next week and they've been the games where we need to be a lot better so we just look forward to next week now. you mentioned that it's always the games like today where we always perform but the ones like liver's edge at home towards the bottom of the table the lads seem to switch off obviously a full week in training is that something you're going to make sure that doesn't happen yeah definitely because when you're playing games Saturday, Tuesday Saturday, Tuesday you struggle to prepare as, as well as you could so this week it'll be two training sessions we need to make home a fortress now and, and we'll be going right for the throat next Saturday definitely and I think that's that's something that we've got to get better at so I think for me it's one game at a time um, we're a little bit behind where I want us to be as a group but obviously this week Joel's gone Dan has been injured so we're hope, hopefully have him back next Saturday but we, we, you know we may look to, to bring in like a forward type player over the next week or two if, if we can.